What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my cohorts in crime, Jesse and Mike. How's it going? Um, Guys, we're doing another favorites for you, and this time it's Mike's turn. Yes, we finally made it to Mike's, Mike's favorite. Turn. Yes. <laughs> so, Mikey. Uh, oh, actually, before we get into it, real quick, stay tuned for the end of the episode. We're going to give you a really cool deal with our new friends, Comic Blitz, which you can see down in the corner there. We're going to tell you all about that at the end of the episode, so stay tuned for that. So, without further ado, Mikey, hit it up, man. Yes, sir. So, um, obviously, I'm the last of this first initial favorites video. And uh, despite so many episodes of the show that I, no, that I love, many. I narrowed it down to a couple. And then I went with... Um, Season 3, episode 15. Uh, it's entitled This Sorrowful Life. I chose this episode um, because I'm just a big Merle guy, and this has a lot of to do with Merle. Um, and it has a lot also to do with Rick and um, and the group and going forward and how they'll make decisions. Oh, yeah, and choices. the speech. I like that. That's one of my favorites, yeah. yeah. So it kind of comes on the heels uh, of the... Governor and the, and Rick meeting up and uh, the governor proposing a deal to Rick about giving up Michonne and he'll leave Rick and the group and the prisoners alone, uh, the prisoners in the prison alone. Right. Um, so we pretty much take it from there. Obviously, if you're watching this show and you're a big Walking Dead fan, you already know about this episode. Um, so it would be cool. You know, I always rewatch them and rewatching it again kind of always sparks up some new stuff. So yeah, it's fun. without going too crazy and breaking down this, this, uh, episode, um, I think we can kind of go right into, uh, the discussion part of, of the episode. Um, so if you want to kick off like that, um, basically I'll start off saying that, um, Rick has, uh, right off the bat, Rick is standing out there with, um, in the, in the, in the prison with Herschel and Daryl and they're discussing, um, and Rick, obviously, uh, they're discussing the deal. And in the beginning, um, Rick was going to, um, go with the deal. You well, know, he had he set was, it up. Yeah, he was all like, he, he said, was gonna, he, yeah, he was like, yeah. we're going to do it. Because he exactly. was just like, I just want to keep everyone safe. And then. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think, you know, uh, uh, Daryl and Herschel, they really were just going along with Rick because he's the leader. And at no, you know, at any point I, I felt that um, they wanted to give up Michonne. And, yeah. and um, you know, but like you said, it's all about Rick and and his just fighting this this battle in his in his mind of what to do, yeah. and you know with with uh, Merle being in the prison, I thought it was very interesting because there's a lot of animosity between Merle and and Glenn and some of the other characters, and Merle yeah. throughout this episode has encounters with with really uh, you know a lot of the members of the group with 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 Carol. Merle has a little uh, back and forth with um, and. Um, yeah, so for me, I think that it was hu it was huge in the fact that Dar uh, Daryl Merle knew right off the bat that Rick wasn't gonna be able to to make to yeah, go through yeah, with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he made preparations was, to to just yeah. handle the do the deal on Rick's yeah. behalf. Exactly, exactly. So. Um, I think that's why we saw the encounter with Merle and Daryl in the in the basement or wherever that was in the in the shop or something like that yeah. in the prison. Um, Merle already began collecting items and wires and things. And Wasn't that the power room? Is that what? Yeah, that was? yeah, it was down. Or it yeah. was, yeah. 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 So I really, you know, and I love Merle as a character. So you know, I think there was a lot to do with. Um, there was, there was, you know, there was an evolution of Merle in this. So I don't know if you guys want to get into that because I know that uh, Chris was talking about it um, and where, you know, he made the choice to go and bring Michonne and deliver Michonne. There were changes in his tune uh, on their, well, on their think, little trip. Yeah, but I think, I think it kind of started with, maybe not started, but Carol definitely sparked something. She's like, you got yeah. you got to choose sides, man. She's like, you're here, yeah. you're not here, you, you got to choose, it's time to choose sides. Mm -hmm. And, and you, like you said, he's already like, Rick, Rick's not going to do this. But what, <laughs> but like, what, what was his motivation to be like, 
well, I'm going to do this for him. And, and, and the thing with that was his brother. And so he told Michonne on the road, you know, and Michonne's goading him this whole fucking time. She wasn't, oh, hell, she didn't course. seem more, this is when Michonne was still very stoic and didn't really speak much. And, you know, um, she was like goading him though. She didn't, she kind of didn't care, but did care, you know, like she didn't really give yeah. up, a, give a fight, you know? And he's like, look, I care about my brother. I want, I'm for my brother and my brother wants the prison. He's like, so yeah. that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. And then, and then he takes her on the road and they get in the car and, um, just, then he's like, I remember first seeing that. And again, I, I've talked about it more than once. I used to do reviews on my gaming channel and mm -hmm. this was one that I, I definitely reviewed in the season. And I was like the part where he opens and he just stops and opens the door and lets her go. I was like, Oh shit, that's it. Like he's, He's yeah. made this choice now, and I was like, he's going to go out for the co the governor, and he's going to protect yeah. his brother, yep. you know? Um, yep. and, and another and another thing with that, and I think another decision was also um, Daryl, when they're talking in like that, in that one room, you know, he just says, he's like, he's like you've, you've got soft because I got your balls or something. He's, he's, he's yeah. goading Daryl, and Daryl says, I just want my brother back, you know? And he's just like, fuck, <laughs> you know, he looks my, at yeah. him. You know, had gave that look, you know, and so, I mean, this was, you know? this was just a really cool, you know, and, you know, and he mentions earlier, he's like, the one that came back for me was Rick on the roof, mm -hmm. he yeah. says, you know, and, and it's just, it's just cool. It's just a great character arc for, you know, an ending to his arc, um, especially since being a piece of shit and doing those things that, you know, like Glenn says to Daryl, he's like, I don't care about myself, but that man yeah. fucking brought my girl to that fucking psycho. Mm -hmm. And did that shit. He goes, I can't forgive him for that. Like, I'm not going to, you know. Yeah, so. and that's what Daryl said. Yeah, Daryl says, you know, to Glenn, you know, I'll do what it takes to, you know, make, make it right. Make yeah. it right or whatever. Yeah. 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 It's, a yeah. Shitty, it's a shitty position for Daryl to be in. You it know, is. Well, it's he just, loves his brother a lot. He so. loves him, but he also hates him because he's been he's been dominating him his whole life. And yeah, he's abandoned him also. But he's abandoned him, right? Yeah, he's been a piece him, of shit, and know. it shows at the end. Like that was one of the that was one of the, you know, that was great. I see, I, yeah, I mean, I, I definitely see why he chose this episode because, yeah, again, a pivotal fucking moment for for a pivotal character where it's like that was, he's just bashing this, you know, his brother's face in exactly. He just and yeah. it's all the rage that he just he always wanted to mm -hmm. do, and he was just like. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, it was, it was heart wrenching. It really was, but it was so fucking good, yeah. you know? Yeah. And even after everything, um, when, 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 um, Merle has Michonne tied up in the car, Michonne was even saying, you know, after everything that Merle did, especially to Michonne, she still said, we can go back. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, you know, because he not... says you're an outsider. Like she says, you're an outsider. Yeah. And she yeah. said, he says, no, you're an outsider too. He goes, yeah. you know, Yep. Yeah, it was um, it was very interesting that that, uh, you know, that scene and 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 the, the, the you know, how, like you said, that she was goading Merle big time. And yeah. and um, what was also cool is when they were walking before they even got the car. Yeah. And when uh, Merle kind of tied up Michonne to the post there and the alarm was going off on the car when he was trying to hotwire and all this kind of stuff. The and, old school 90s alarm. Yeah. yeah, right. Well, how about the fact that, um, you know, even though Michonne was tied up with everything, look at how she took out some of those. Yeah, you know, yeah that that uh, walk that line through the walkers through her throat. So freaking good. awesome. Yeah. So good. Yeah, she kicks the one, stomps on his head. And yeah, yeah, it was a big it was a big um, redemption episode. And and without, you know, just talking all about Merle, I mean, with Rick, this was this was a big episode for him as well. Um, when he decides um, to change his mind about the whole Michonne thing, you know, he was he found some wire, some some internet cable looking blue wire, and he ends yeah. up seeing um, he sees Lori. Was this a, was uh, this the first time he started seeing her? Because he talked to her on the phone. This no. is around the last time he's seen her. Yeah. This is around the this last time really, now. Okay. Remember, yeah. Yeah. next episode would have been the season finale. Yeah. So he, he No, there was more than sixteen episodes. This was fifteen. No. Really? Nah. There's only sixteen, no, no. really? Yep, sixteen. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah, no, I didn't look so beyond that. Was, that. That's why, know, yeah. So she helped in the decision to a to a degree, you know. 
And yeah. even it, you know, Rick Rick was like, "You're not there. You're not there." Yeah, you know, that was a whole, oh, that was a whole other thing. It was fucking great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. But um, Herschel's Bible passage was freaking awesome. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, and that's yeah. all going on as yeah. I think that was Psalm 91 or something like that, but it, it speaks very heavily of you will only see the punishment of the wicked through your eyes. Mm-hmm. Nothing's going to hurt you this time. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah. Good powerful. stuff. Ma- you know, and, and and just other side stories. Maggie and Glenn get engaged, and yeah, you know, he says, you, you know, he goes to Herschel, and and, and uh, Mike, m- m- mention what you said off camera about what Herschel says. Oh well, obviously Herschel has the blessing, no, you know, a thousand percent with with Glenn proposing, but there was something in there. Um, uh, Herschel has said um, the governor's one man, and they'll be. You know, there'll be others, you know, just other, there'll always be a threat. You know, if it's not the governor that you have to worry. So about, always, he knew, yeah, he, he understands the world yeah. probably better than so, most of them, you know. Exactly. And it's just funny because after watching it now again, before we did the show, knowing what uh, happens, later, knowing what yeah. happens with Negan and there, yeah, that's that one guy, you know, in a way Herschel was foreshadowing, yeah. you know, yep. Um, but yeah, and Herschel, I miss Herschel as a as a character too. I mean, he he was always great, and the, and this episode was filled with, you know, really really good acting, um, especially with yeah. Merle and then and and Daryl's reaction at the end. Because let's get into that really quick. Obviously, um, after letting Michonne go, you know, Merle continues to get his drink on. He he's driving uh, and and luring Lure the walkers, walkers, yeah, you know, to the blaring motorhead. Yeah, playing his music and and um, you know, uh, which Lloyd. by the way had to be a tape or a CD, right? I mean, oh yeah, oh, well I hope. Yeah, you know, he already there's... removed the antenna, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, he still got FM DJs. Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. So just you know, to get getting to the drop off zone or the drop off point or whatever, you know, Rick and the governor are supposed to make this deal. Um, you know, Michonne uh, Merle, you know, releases his car and starts plucking off. A handful of the governor's men, um, and he had a, a you know a good uh, an open uh, shot there for a second. He took it, but then some kid got in the fucking the way. Kid, yeah. That's the kid, obviously, that first was with Tyrese. Right. Yeah. And he takes you know a bullet. Which, by the way, where were Tyrese and Sasha this episode? Uh, they were in the uh, at Woodbury. Okay, because I. I yeah, that's, they didn't. Don't remember. It it's so fight. crazy going back and watching yeah. these when, because in the whole, I'm like, wait, who were they? Like, I didn't know if it was. I didn't realize it was Michonne they were trying to give back. It's from the very when I started the episode. I'm like, what? Yeah. My yeah. wife and I are like, wait, who the hell? Wait, what? What's going on again? Like, you don't remember, you know? Well, like, if you'll remember, and spoiler, you for some reason haven't seen episode 16. Uh, at the beginning of next episode, Andrea is wanting to get them to go with her. Right. When she tried, or or no. That was a previous episode. Yeah, My no, bad. when that's when they wanted yeah, to bring them. They're yeah. there. They're the ones that stop Rick, and then when they come back with right, uh, yeah. Catherine, Karen. Yeah. yeah, Karen. Yep. But, um, yep. but yeah, no, I mean, the um, th- the other thing I, I just wanted to mention, too, was uh, the one reason why I, I really enjoyed this one, and I remember when I watched it initially the very first time, was when Rick was like, listen, you know, we're, oh, we're done with that. We're done with yeah. me dictating... Yeah. He's like, we're doing this yeah. together. I and I remember, I remember seeing that and being like, God damn it, that that's such a good speech. It's so good. And, and this so is, ends the dictatorship. Exactly, exactly. You know, yeah. and that was that was a word used, you know, back then. You know, the Rick. This is this is ending the dictatorship, and it was just, it was just cool. It was just, I just. And people that's... were wondering if it was going to be a Darylocracy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, and that's what he does, you know. And at the end of this episode, um, you know, when Rick is making the speech, that he's like, "This is not, um, you know, we're staying. We're going to stay alive." together we're gonna stick together we're gonna vote if we're gonna stay or if you know we're gonna vote if we're gonna fight if we're gonna if we're do anything you know yeah. if we're gonna yeah. leave yeah so that was you know and that's that's prominent and that's still today you know for yep. the most part they kept you know? and you know this whole season between rick and daryl it's it's the it's the season where rick and daryl become brothers like they and 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 daryl believes in rick yeah. you know um, and it's like cemented next season, right? Yeah, this oh, is the yeah. beginning of that relationship. But it's also it's a good thing and it's a positive thing, 
but it's also he also kind of used Rick as a supplement of his brother. So it was kind of yeah. like a better version of his brother. Yeah, that's like Rick is what he wished you Merle know, was. Merle yeah. And I think that's an important been. distinction to make um, yeah. in Daryl's psyche, as we've seen where he's up to now. You know, like he still believes. Oh, yeah. And when you watch this episode, and, and he even says to Merle, Daryl says, you know, I, you know I, I, I'll, I'll, I do what he says. I'm going to do what he says. You know, I follow mm-hmm. him. You know, and Merle's yeah, like, Rick, what the Rick's fuck, the, you know? Yeah, Rick's the leader. You know, and then yeah, especially... Rick's the leader is what he says. Right, Rick's yeah. the leader, right. And and then going to now, you know, catching up to, like, when they when they meet back with each other is just like, you know, in the in mm-hmm. the, in the uh, mid-season finale was just like, you bring all that weight with you, you know? You bring all that weight. And and yeah. I don't really... And I don't really think at this point in, this, in, in the current timeline that yeah. it's really Rick alone i think he looks at daryl like daryl kind of like co-leads with him i think he's become more than just it's his like it's his right best. hand man i think but i think yeah. he's even more than that i think it's even more than that you know I, I mean yes rick still calls the shots but i still think daryl is looked upon as yeah more, i don't know i feel like he's more than second in command you know i don't know he's got a lot of lieutenants, well if though. you remember um before the meeting with the governor when Rick's talking with Daryl and Herschel, mm-hmm. he's like, I can't make this decision on my own. Yeah, that's true. I'm going to need you two there with me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because he's because he knows he's like, I'm not going to do this alone. I'm not going to fucking fuck everyone's life because yeah. I'm I'm going to make a rash yeah. movement or decision. You know, he had well, he temporarily initially, yeah. stopped seeing Lori. So he was somewhat sane. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I hate, I couldn't stand when he was going nuts and he was on the outside of the fence of the prison and seeing. But you know what though? But Lori that's but that's important and... though. But that's important. Yeah. Yeah. That's very yeah. important. Because no, I it's... mean it's important. But like, you know me, man. I can't stand Rick being Rick's your boy. In, Rick's, Rick's your bay. I know, his... man. I know. How do you think I felt like? I know. The... the next season, episode eight, what happens? Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it was bad. Yeah, yeah it is bad. You know, when but Rick all was good, getting but all, all those good, phone calls and stuff. And those, those were even so great crazy. scenes. That was so crazy. I you enjoyed know? that, though. I don't know. When Herschel, when Herschel uh, came downstairs uh, yeah, yeah. in the prison and, and Rick is waiting. Rick is not phone. plugged up. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> I know. It was great. Yeah. So, you know, um, that's, you know, I think uh, I think it's definitely, this definitely was a was a, a great episode. I mean, there's so many. You can choose through so many. But that was that's um, definitely a pivotal one. It's definitely. It's yeah. difficult, yeah. Because really the big, I mean, I think the two major points um, are, like we said, you know, Rick and, and no more of the, the Rick Tater ship thing. I think that's obviously huge because, like I said before, it stands to this day. And that's how it is to this day. And just Merle's redemption, you know what I mean? And it's a shame what happened. I think he still is one of the coolest looking walkers that Nicotero made. They up. made. Yeah. Rooker you know? was like, "I'm gonna be a walker. I want to do it my he way." He was great. You know that's. Yeah. And don't forget, he just turned, and he was such a strong presence yeah. that, and you could just tell, like they, they. That's why they close up. They closed up on his eyes. You know, like he just. Um, you know, another thing I just want to throw out there real quick at the end here is that Merle, it was a redemption story for Merle, but it was only in Merle's eyes and Michonne, I guess, but Michonne didn't know what he was going to do. No, Michonne, Michonne could have, could have, you know, yeah, she could have been like, oh, he may go, but that's the coolest part is that only Merle really knows what Merle really did. And I think that's I, interesting. Instead of making it like everybody sees and, and everyone and Rick sees that he's he's turned good and he made this grand gesture. No, it was just him. I think it was next episode. Didn't Daryl say something along the lines of he knew he wasn't going to survive? He was wanting to soften them yeah. up for us? Yeah. But but what I'm saying is now is like right then, right as as yeah. it happened, you know, and then and then the fact yeah. that it was only his brother that, that found them, you know. Um yeah. wow. So. Yeah, because when Rick, when when um, Daryl um, saw Michonne, when Michonne was on her way back, he's like, "I got to go after my brother and make sure no one comes after me," you know. So it mm-hmm. was definitely, it was definitely, um, you know, a great scene to for especially Daryl to see his brother and yeah. to be the one that finds yeah. him like that. Yeah, you know, he had the meat hanging out of his, you know, Merle had the meat hanging out of his. Uh, 
And even that, even the governor was such a dick. You know, he sh- shot Merle in the chest or whatever. So he was obviously, so mad, you know what, he would you know, come back and yeah. I ain't yeah. gonna beg. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't gonna, gonna beg you. Yeah. No, he said that. He said that a couple times. Oh. Yeah. He said that a couple of times. He said that in the first season when he was on the on the uh, locked yeah. on the, uh, the, yeah. the roof. You know, he's, he was he's like he told God, you know, yeah, I'm not going to beg you, you know, I don't need you. Yeah, because no. he started bugging out. Remember, that? oh, that was even a great I even contemplated using that. That one, you know, yeah, that's a good that's, one. There's just so many. And um, maybe if we do this again, uh they'll be we'll get some up in other... there yeah we'll get some yeah. more in there so um is that it is that it guys i think we've uh talked this one out i think yeah. we have to are we, are we happy with that we're happy with what we got absolutely cool cool well guys as i promised we are going to bring you a really cool promo from our new friends at comic blitz and jesse's going to get into that now all right so i think i'm the only one so far that signed up for comic blitz or no chris you have to right uh no not yet no all right so, I got some other things I'm doing with that. <laughs> using our code, Third Person Pod, you can get access to over 4,500 comics and graphic novels now, not just comics. And these include like James Bond, G.I. Joe versus Transformers, The Boys, Bloodshot, and Jack, uh, and too many more to list off and off the top of my head Star Trek. That's another one I'm getting into myself. And there's so many developers, such as Top Cow, Dynamite, IDW, Valiant, and it's just an amazing service but using our code third person pod you can get your first three months for a dollar a month and it works from any plan so of course you're going to want to use the unlimited comics for 7.99 slash down to a dollar a month for the first three months yep makes sense yep that's a heap a heaps heaps of comics for three so many for three bucks for three months do. Yeah. yeah so if you've been wanting to read a series and you don't want to buy them all just get on there get in there read that series and you'll probably end up staying because you got so much more to read it's yeah. a, it's an amazing deal it's so good and this is available on ios your laptop your desktop and coming soon because it's in beta to androids android yep so guys that's comic blitz you can go to comicblitz.com or you can check it out on any of those apps uh, like Jesse said, and uh, get that promo, man. Get those comics. Yeah, get in definitely. there. Read those things. Uh, so that's going to do it for us here at Third Person. Uh, guys, thank you so much for all the support and all the comments. Keep them coming. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you guys say in the comments about this episode and what you thought about the characters and all that good stuff. Uh, keep your eyes peeled and your ears to the floor for our next videos. We've got some cool Netflix stuff coming up. And um, just, yeah, you know, Game of Thrones is on its way and Walking Dead's almost here. we got a few more yeah, weeks. Three more weeks. Right, three, three more, more weeks. weeks. So... Uh, that's it, guys. Um, we're gonna, that's going to do it for us here. So thank you very much, guys, and we're going to see you on the next video. So peace out. Peace.